If you're suffering from erectile dysfunction after COVID-19, know that you're not alone. Surprisingly, many men are suffering from erectile dysfunction after COVID-19. And this issue has actually been overlooked or largely overlooked by mainstream media. Hi, I'm Michelle, and today we're looking at the best treatment options for addressing erectile dysfunction after COVID-19. Now, because this is such a recent virus, there's a lot of research currently going into the best treatment options. But specifically, we're going to go through, first of all, medications and medications that are currently being used to treat erectile dysfunction after COVID-19. And that's the short-term treatment. And secondly, we're going to look at longer-term treatments, specifically exercise and physical activity and the best types of exercise to undertake. And I can't recommend strongly enough the importance of discussing these treatment options with your doctor if you've had COVID-19 and developed erectile dysfunction. Now the first treatment option that's currently being recommended uh, by urologists is uh, treatment with the PDE5 inhibitors such as Viagra and this type of medications. So this is being currently used as an effective treatment for some particular men. Now the thinking is the cause or one of the main causes of erectile dysfunction is a decrease in circulation that COVID actually affects uh, full body circulation and also circulation and blood flow to the penis. So what Viagra does is in effect increase our penile blood flow by relaxing smooth muscles and or allowing blood to flow into the penis. And this is a short term treatment only. The second a potential treatment option that was, is still really being investigated is testosterone. Now the SARS virus or COVID virus has actually been found uh, in the penile tissues up to seven months after infection. And we suspect that uh, COVID can affect the testicles and can cause some testicular damage. Now, at the moment, we don't know whether testosterone is a viable treatment, and that's something that's being investigated uh, as a potential treatment for erectile dysfunction after COVID-19 virus. Now, the second promising treatment option that I'd really like to discuss is exercise. Now, this is whole body exercise, and most men are completely unaware that along with the PDE5 inhibitors, exercise is the first line recommended treatment for erectile dysfunction. So both medication and uh, exercise or increasing physical activity are recommended for erectile dysfunction. The issue is that many men are just given vague information about how much physical activity I undertake and they have no idea about the specific guidelines. So coming up next, I do have a video on the specific guidelines if you want to stay with me for that, but specific guidelines for exercise. But let's talk about some of the exercises now that may be of benefit. And again, if you've had COVID-19, check with your doctor before starting an exercise program, particularly if you've had severe COVID or had pneumonia or long COVID, because all these can affect your ability to exercise. Now, the best exercises for addressing um, erectile dysfunction promote circulation, because as I've already said, we think that decreased circulation is a major cause of erectile dysfunction after COVID-19. Now, cardiovascular exercises are great for promoting our, our, our improved circulation. So cardiovascular exercises such as running, such, a, such as bike riding. But after COVID-19, you'd be thinking about your walking and your brisk walking in particular, and gradually uh, moving into the more uh, intense forms of exercise. The other form of exercise is weight training or resistance training. Wonderful because it actually increases testosterone, also too promotes positive body image and as well um, improves circulation. So again, more, a number of benefits from weight training. So using a combination of exercises. The other two really great forms of exercise uh, for addressing erectile dysfunction are body combat exercises such as your martial arts and also to team sports and particularly team sports outdoors. So these are found to have been found to have uh, psychological benefits for men. And we also think that one of the potential causes of erectile dysfunction associated with um, the, the COVID-19 virus, or one of the theories, is the fact that there's been a tremendous financial pressure, economic burdens, and stress for many men associated with the virus, whether they've caught the virus or whether their uh, jobs have been put at risk from the virus. And these two stresses, external stresses, can cause erectile dysfunction. So there's that potential as well. So I think you can see that exercise can have a multifaceted uh, benefit for improving strength, overall fitness strength, 
overall improving lung function, but also to for specifically addressing erectile dysfunction after COVID-19. And as I've already said, we need more research into this specific avenue of treatment. The second type of exercise that I'd like to raise as possible treatment for erectile dysfunction after COVID is Kegel exercises for men. Now, we know that with severe uh, COVID-19, we can get body muscle wasting and weakness, um, general skeletal muscles, and the pelvic floor muscles are skeletal muscles. Now, if you've had coughing and um, perhaps pneumonia or chest issues with COVID, it's likely that your pelvic floor has been put under strain and weakened. And also too, with long COVID, we get debilitation and weakening of the muscles. So Kegel exercises are a fantastic way of strengthening the pelvic floor muscles that act like a pressure cuff. And what they actually do is they contract around the base of the penis, a specific muscle in particular called bulbospongiosis, contracts and it retains blood in the penis. So it's really important that these muscles are functioning really well for erectile function. And it's likely that even that this is one potential factor of pelvic floor muscle weakness that's contributing to erectile dysfunction. Now, this is something I'm raising as a potential issue and a potential for research. So if someone out there can research it, fantastic. But it really makes sense that weakening and wasting the pelvic floor muscles might also be another factor uh, for contributing to erectile dysfunction. And this is our no cost uh, intervention and with no side effects if um, appropriately uh, addressed exercises. And you can check the link above if you're interested in Kegel exercises specifically for erectile dysfunction. So I think you can see there are currently a number of treatment options on the cards uh, as potential treatments for erectile dysfunction after COVID-19. We obviously need more research, but we're looking at medications and we're also too looking at exercise as perhaps the best treatment options for addressing this issue. Now, I'd really love to hear from you. Please feel welcome to uh, put in the comments below uh, things that have actually helped you if you've suffered from erectile dysfunction or you're suffering from erectile dysfunction after COVID-19. And I also hope that this is the information that you can take with you to your doctor to discuss your options for effectively treating to set show to help you overcome erectile dysfunction after COVID-19. So stay with me now. Don't forget we've got the exercise video coming up with exercise guidelines for uh, addressing erectile dysfunction. And as always, thanks so much for watching today. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye for now.